Out here on the Santa Ana property, Quadra Island, and we are taking a look at some other open cuts and trenches. Here you have a L-shaped open cut or L-shaped trench exposing your mineralized bedrock there. And down here you have collapsed at it here and right at the flagging tape there there's the entrance you can go in a few feet if you're nice and small we found some waste rock samples all over here with disseminated up to samples that were massive sulfides and you can see here quartz attached to your mineralized rock scarn and those samples have mineralization on them as well. But an area that I wanted to look at where we haven't really sampled yet is this. It's a bench-like outcrop and this may have at one time been an open cut you can see how flat this is going across the whole wall. We got the two guys working over there. You can see mineralization here. And we're doing a bit of hand stripping. You can see this area with the heavy oxidation has sulfides. And where J2 is working, and where Michael's working. So we're gonna pull a bunch of samples off. A few of these areas, have a look. So we've got mineralization here, and we've got mineralization in this trench here. And the direction of strike goes this way. If you go up there as well, there's different showings and add it over there. But the few samples I've hammered off of here, you can see the scarn with sulfides. See the calcopyrite there. Everything up here is Calcopyrite, this little band right here cutting through is pyrotite and more calcopyrite. Hammer these in half a bit. Get a better look. Nicely mineralized. So I think we got a good enough sample here from this area. This is area one and J2 is about 15 to 20 meters away and then Michael's working another five, 10 meters past him. At the second area here where J2 was opening up and stripping this bedrock off. Up here you have quartz. You have your scar and mineralization, and he pulled these samples off right here. There is calcopyrite. Break these open so we can get a better look at what's inside. That is mostly calcopyrite. So 
so not too bad. Nicely mineralized with chalcopyrite. From this area, we got a third area here that's been stripped off. Some samples pulled off from here. We have some samples here that's been pulled off from here. So, again, this is mostly chalcopyrite. Except for this down here. This is puritite. Looks like most of what else I see here though is chalcopyrite with your scarn. Occasional magnetite. But there's not an abundance of magnetite in here. So the contact is between limestone and you have anisic rock and granodiorite. And your anisic rock occasionally looks like scarn. But I do see a bunch of scarn in here and chunks of Nisic rock embedded in it. So those samples are from here and here and these samples are from the wall here. And you have a pile here from up there Again, nicely mineralized with your chalcopyrite. Again, more nice samples from where J2 is working to the edge over there. This is about 30 meters, so we've determined 30 meters on strike of mineralization. We got more going up the wall here, and you can see the, the calcopyrite. So from the start over there to the end, we've exposed one, two, three, four, five, six different areas over a 30 meter strike. And we have consistent sulfides in this area going from up top all the way down to the bottom here where it's flattening out. And then in the trench over there as well. So. This has some width to it, and it's got lots of strike. So those are the samples, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.